easier to shoot an arrow rather than receiving one in the face makes it very hard to kill the defender of this fortress. Good morning and welcome to day three in Tallinn, Estonia. Our last, last and gone northern, our last day in this beautiful city. So we're going to make the most of it and we're up, we're out for sunrise. Well, I got up a little bit earlier to catch the blue hour. A couple of shots I want to get during blue hour. And then, yeah, it's even colder this morning. It's minus seven now. Um, it is snowing. You don't think the camera will be able to pick it up. But, uh, maybe. I don't know if you can see from the light, yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's snowing very lightly. We're out here, we're cold, and we're out for sunrise. Let's get it. Because that's very inviting, especially when you're half asleep and uh, you have to double take on what you just saw. Maybe it's their way of uh, encouraging people to come in. No, nothing will happen to you. You won't end up like this skeleton. Who knows? So I was just at the top of the viewing platforms and it's just way too cold up there. There's a really harsh wind and um, I don't want to get frostbite this early in the morning. So, but we're back at the um, gingerbread house. Come here last night and um, wanted to come here when it's lighter. There she is. I don't, it's not actually a gingerbread house. It just looks like one, do you not think? But we're going to take a couple of photos and then head on to our next place. And uh, the snow is coming down faster now. It's not fixed snow, it's like the small little flakes, but it's coming down a lot faster now. Um, I'm still in two minds as to whether I want to put my drone up. I might just do it, just send it. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful when it snows. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put the drone up in this current time. Um, snowing quite heavily now. I mean, my camera is taking a beating. It'll be all right. And uh, my, thing, my fingers are just too cold at the minute to attempt to control that. So yeah, we're just walking along the Hellman Tower, which we are gonna go up when it opens, if it's not closed. Fingers crossed, because um, you don't really have much luck with that. Um, plan now is to uh, go and get a coffee. Um, it's actually a lot busier this morning. I guess just people are going back to school, going to work. But uh, yeah, let's uh, go warm up our fingers and get a coffee. So we've had our coffee and we had a little 
bite to eat and I think it's about time to go to Hellman's Tower, Hellman's Tower opens up in a minute so hopefully it's not closed because of the weather the snow is still falling it's a winter wonderland in Tallinn <laughs> We're in. We're in Hellman's, well we're not in Hellman's Tower yet, but we're along the wall of Hellman's Tower. It stretches for 200 meters and it was constructed in the 14th century. They believe it was 1410 it was constructed and it had several different purposes throughout the years. At one point it was a weapons store, other times it was a prison. Um, but the main purpose of this wall was for defence against attackers in the old town of Tarlin. Now if you see here, we've got tiny little windows and um, that was for the archers. I'm assuming it's for the archers. So the archers would sit here, shoot their arrows out of this little tiny window, but also it would make it very hard for the attacking the attacking team, the attackers, the invaders, to shoot arrows back through this wall because of how thin it is. But it'd also be very easy to shoot out arrows, making it very hard for attackers to invade and to conquer and breach the walls of what used to be a magnificent fortress to defend the old town of Tarlin. So we're at the top of the tower, Hellman's Tower, and um, it's pretty cool. I've got a little door here. Open up the door. Now that's a good view. <laughs> um, yeah, this I actually just found out by reading one of the old information boards is uh that the city wall was one of the greatest and strongest defense systems in all of Europe. So that's pretty cool, but you can see it goes all the way around. And the original city wall had a length of 2.35 kilometers. And like I said in yesterday's video, I think, had 45 wall and gate towers. And um, yeah, this is a uh, it's pretty pretty awesome. So the entrance to Hellman's Tower is right by Catherine Passage, if that's the correct name. It was here yesterday or the other day. I just wanted to see it whilst it was under the snow. But um, yeah, they only cost four euros to go up the tower, which I thought was really reasonable. And um, I literally went in as soon as it opened, so I had the whole place to myself. Um, little top tip, things like that. If you want to get the place to yourself, it's not overcrowded with people get there as soon as it opens so i'm just going to walk to one of our places as that last night because i haven't actually seen it during the daytime yet one of another part of the wall and i want to see if there's any good photos to be taken there and then i think i might walk to a palace it's a half hour walk apparently but um yeah why not we got time
Okay, quick change of plan. We're going up another tower. I think this one's called Nun Tower or Nun's Tower. I just saw it and you can go in, so why not? But this tower's on the other end of the old town. So let's go check this one out. It's probably gonna be the same, but hey ho, this one is three euros to go in. So let's go check out Nun Tower. <sighs> Every time them stairs are steep and tough to climb. But yeah, Nun's Tower. So we're at the very top of the tower, empty but still cool to be standing in one of the towers which was once one of the greatest fortresses of the medieval era, era in Europe and like in the other wall and tower, we've got them little windows what is presumed to be for the archers and I'm assuming not also not uh, not archers but also just lookout points as well but that's what I can decipher from it just make makes sense easier to shoot an arrow rather than receiving one in the face makes it very hard to kill the defender of this fortress so I've actually just made the decision to stop for lunch cappuccino in hand and I'm in another Italian restaurant I'm having lasagna I did have pizza last night in a different restaurant, but that's the, I've only been to two restaurants twice. The rest of the time I've just been living off of McDonald's and snacks and uh, street food just to try and keep the budget down low. But because it's my last day, I thought, you know what, why not treat myself and have a lasagna for lunch? Lunch over and done with. That filled a hole. And now we're going to head out of Old Town, following Google Maps, to a place called Teleskivi, which is a creative city or a creative part of this city once an industrial area turned into a like i said creative city um apparently there's obviously still the industrial architecture but awesome murals and it sounds like it'll be pretty good for uh, street photography so let's go and do something a little different where am i going this way yeah let's uh Let's get out of the old, the old town and explore this creative city. This place is so cool. So we're in Teleskivi now, the creative city. Just look at these buildings, man. All this artwork, it's incredible. It's very, very hipster. And uh, you got all sorts here. There's like an ice cream, ice cream parlor, coffee shops, restaurants. What a uh, very creative and unique way of turning a derelict industrial area into something good. And we've got an ice cream factory right here. Just look, just look at that artwork. Although, I think it's a little cold for ice cream today. Check this out, they've turned an old train carriage into a restaurant. <laughs> That's awesome. I love the uh, creativity behind it. Then again, creative city, 
<laughs> so that is Teleskivi. What an awesome little place. I should imagine it'd be a lot busier in the summer because there's like loads of things there. There's like ping pong tables outside, bars, restaurants, shops. What a cool little hangout place and uh, yeah, what a awesome way to turn something that could look so ugly into something so beautiful, you know? Like I said, it used to be an, un uh, an old industrial area, so rather letting that industrial area decay and look rubbish, they've uh, decided to do something good with it and make it more appealing and make people want to go visit there. But yeah, as I said, in the summer, I'm sure the vibes there are good, but in the middle of winter, it's quiet, but still cool to experience. So I'm back in Old Town. As you can see behind me, the Christmas tree. They've just started putting the lights on, which is awesome. But unfortunately, we won't be here when the Christmas markets open, which is annoying, but yeah, I think we're a week too early for the Christmas market and the Christmas lights, but hey ho. But yeah, I'm just uh, having a little walk around. The night's coming, the sun is setting, and it's getting dark. But, you know, our last day is coming to an end. So yeah, I'm just walking around, vibing, surviving. Just gonna go up to the viewpoint one last time whilst it's dusk, but all day today. I've seen people been putting out these Christmas trees and they are just everywhere in the old town, which is pretty cool. It's starting to feel a bit festive. That's cool. But yeah, it's starting to feel festive here. Um, it is our last night. I think I might go back to the hostel after I've been up to the viewpoint and just chill, maybe start editing. I don't know, my legs are starting to really hurt from walking around constantly because I haven't actually rested today. Been up since seven, but that is how we do it. So yeah, let's go to the viewpoint one last time and see if the lights of the old town are on and see one last view of beautiful Tarlin. viewpoint all to myself. This is one of the most famous or most well-known viewpoints but um, check this out. This terracotta roofs are just snow-capped and it is gorgeous. Check it out. So that is the end of Tallinn, Estonia. I'm gonna end it there because I'm absolutely knackered. Gonna chill out for a few hours before going to sleep. Flight's first thing in the morning, so we won't have time to film anything. But yeah, I'm gonna end it right in front of Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. What an absolute beautiful building. If you did enjoy this episode or any of my Tallinn videos then give us a little thumbs up and if you are new around here hit that subscribe button as i stated in the episode before i am hoping or i am aiming to hit 500 subscribers before christmas so if you are new around here hit that subscribe button and we will see you in the next adventure peace out